Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today I wanted to show you a comparison of the detail levels available in Apple's new photogrammetry API through Object Capture. There are currently five detail levels to choose from, raw, preview, reduced, medium, and full. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, which is still during the first Xcode 13 beta, the full detail level is bugged and basically will not generate a model. It crashes the program. There's more information on this project in the description below. Here I have a picture of Smo from the Dark Souls board game, which was used to generate the 3D models in this API. Let's take a look at the results. Here we have the raw, preview, reduced, and medium models generated by the API. Let's look at the raw one first. So if we zoom in, we see pretty good detail level in the face, but if you zoom in more, You'll notice that there's geometric shaping here going on with the texture in the front. Overall, the lighting and the shading looks pretty good on the model, including down here in the feet. And the hammer looks pretty good. One thing that happened in all four of the models that were generated was that the hammer underside here actually gets a weird texture. I did take some pictures of it, but I guess it wasn't enough for the API to generate a full, decent model of this underside. Let's look at the preview model next. So preview is pretty rough. A lot of geometric shaping going on here. Texture is not great, and also the detail level, of course, is not great. We get some jagged edges as well in the shoulder. Armor looks decent. And let's look at the underside of the hammer. It's a little bit better, but still mapped kind of strangely. Let's go over to the reduced model now. Here, if we zoom in, decent level detail, not too much shaping going on if you zoom in a lot. Not too many jagged edges around the shoulder either. Armor looks pretty good overall. Let's zoom out a little bit. So you've got some pretty good texturing going on in the details of the armor. And the hammer looks pretty good as well. Let's take a look at the bottom. So still not great. We got a big spot missing here basically. So if I scroll over, change the pan, you can see that there's just an empty spot there. Okay, let's look at the medium. So medium right away, got an empty spot on the hammer. Now let's zoom in on the face and see. Again, pretty good detail level. Not too much geometric shaping going on here. Not too many sharp angles. There is a little bit of a shape here. Even the shoulder here is not so bad, and it's a little bit more pronounced than the other one. If we zoom out, again, good texturing overall. Hands look good, and the hammer looks good. One other thing to note here, let's go through and then come out the other side. Oops. So the model should be pretty well lit if you want accurate texturing. Makes sense. Um, so if I zoom in here, underneath his belt, there's basically not such great texturing going on. Whereas here, where we got the good lighting, you can see the reflections, the glossiness pretty well. And this happened on all the models, so I'll just show you that real quick. Same thing down here. And this was the preview model, which is pretty rough underneath, but also pretty rough in the well-lit area as well. And lastly, let's look at raw. Decent overall. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching.